Hello and welcome to Fluke Fridays. Today we're going to be talking about the 378 again, um, 378 FC. I have done a couple walkthrough videos. Um, this is going to be similar to that, but hopefully a little more in depth. I had a comment that said, would you go through every feature of this meter? So I'm going to try to go through every feature um, the best that I can in my basement. So let's get to it. We'll go through um, the dial and what I can measure in my basement, I'll show you, and what I can't, I'll either throw up a picture of what one looks like and how you could do that measurement, or um, you might have to Google and find another video to do it. But let's get to it. So 378FC, off button. First thing is voltage. Now I will say the hold button is on the side, so in any of these, if you wanted to, if you captured a reading and you wanted to hold that reading like you've reached in with the clamp meter and you've gotten a weird um, like a weird angle you could clamp on hit the hold button bring it out and then see you can see it's no longer a active reading it's just going to hold it so you've always got that as a capability so first thing we're going to do is we are going to measure um, voltage AC so got that Got my test leads, got my line splitter over here. And there we go, 118 volts AC. So mission one done. We can also hit min max if we want. So if we did that and then we undid these, right? Then you can toggle through your min max. So that's our min, almost zero, average, and our max. Okay, and then just hold down if you want to go back to live mode. Okay, hold that down for two seconds if you want a backlit screen. There you go. And inrush. I don't have the capability for this, but I'll show that when we get a little further along. Okay, next meter or next mode DC voltage so when you have a, a straight line and a dash line under it that's DC squiggly line is going to be AC so DC voltage that's going to be like a battery and I have oops I have a double A battery here Let's see if I can do this through the camera there we go and we get voltage so that would be DC voltage if you want millivolts, click that. Again, it's too high, out of limit, right? But these, if you have millivolts, you just hit the function key, okay? Next is going to be continuity. Continuity is just making sure you have an electrical connection or metallic connection. Electrons can go through, so when I touch them together, you see we do have the connection we get the beep for the continuity and the resistance at the same time you'll also notice that the screen turns green and that's called visual continuity so if you're in a dark environment you can't see the screen well or you're in a, you're in a loud environment you can't hear the beep that screen changing colors is very helpful next thing is capacitance I'll have to show you a picture of a capacitor but basically you just take the two leads you touch them to two terminals on the capacitor and it will tell you a microfarad reading. The capacitor on the side should tell you what it's rated for for microfarads and as long as you're at that reading or above then you are should be in good shape. Next we get to why you buy a clamp meter. AC current and AC voltage with field sense. Um, I'm not going to show field sense because I have other videos that show field sense but I will show you AC current right now. So, we're like this. I'm going to put my toaster down so I have a load. I'm going to clamp around. Okay, and I got a 10x multiplier here, so I've got 60 amps going through here because the toaster's pulling like 6 amps. Right? So, that would be your AC um, current. And if you don't hook up the, like, I don't have the. Uh, black lead connected to ground so I'm not doing field sense and with a 
with this splitter I couldn't do field sense anyways because I can't get it in the right spot of the jaws for the voltage reading. So you got that. If you hit the function key, you switch over to um, frequency. So now you can see you've got current still, and now you also have 60 volt, 60 hertz frequency. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off. Next is gonna be AC, or, um, not AC, sorry, DC current. Um, so if you've got a DC motor, again, you would clamp around just like with the AC current and get your reading. And in this, you can see it can uh, drift a little bit. And that's why you have the function key to zero it out. So if we hit zero, and now we're dead nuts zero again, and it might start drifting again, you can hit zero out again, okay? And then last but not least, this is the iFlex. So that's an accessory that comes with it. I've got one right here. Um, we'll plug it in and kind of show you how that works. So you've got, uh, let's see if I can get this just a sec. Okay, see the end of that? So it's got a pretty unique connection here. And then what comes with it? You can see this port is kind of a dummy port. And then these two are the ones that are actually making the connection. Put this in here. And now we see uh, no current. I'm gonna take my iFlex, put it around here and push down my toaster again, and boom, AC current right there, and you get frequency again. Okay. Um, I will try to show you guys some of the, um, what do you call it, the Fluke Connect features. So with Fluke Connect, you can turn this on and connect to your smartphone. Um, I think I have another video that actually goes through this. Uh, I'll probably just link the video. But it goes through how you connect to your smartphone and how do you do um, your phase rotation reading as well as hooking up for three legs. Um, if you want to do leg one, leg two, leg three in field sense and get phase rotation, phase to phase voltage, and phase to neutral voltage. So. For the person who asked for this video, I hope that this is detailed enough and that kind of walks you through exactly how to use this thing. Um, if, if, I, if I'm not answering the questions here, type in the specific question and uh, I'll try to find it in the user manual and send you that link as well. Thank you guys for your time. Have a great weekend and keep using that fluke, staying safe and let me know if there's any specific fluke questions or amp probe questions you might have and you think a video would be a good thing to address those. Thanks and have a great weekend.